Heather Mills is convinced her phone was hacked. It was in 2001 that she claims a journalist admitted listening to her messages. She started quoting verbatim some messages from my machine. She started laughing and I said, why are you laughing? And I said, you've obviously hacked my phone. And if you do anything with this story, because they were obviously very private conversations about um, issues we were having as a couple. And um, he, I said, then I'll go to the police. And uh, he said, okay, okay. Um, yeah, we did hear it on your voice messages. I won't run it. This time, it wasn't the news of the world, but a reporter from the Mirror Group. Trinity Mirror have strongly denied the allegations and insist their journalists work within the law. But some say that if this latest claim does prove to be true, it raises the prospect that other papers may have been involved. I don't think it's any surprise that someone else has been involved in hacking. Nobody thought this was just about one title. It is a surprise that it's the Mirror and during Piers Morgan's editorship because he so vehemently denied it for so long. Piers Morgan is not the senior journalist mentioned by Heather Mills. However, as the man in charge at the time, it raises questions about what he knew. He told the Daily Mail in 2006 that he'd heard a tape of a message from Paul McCartney to Heather Mills where the couple had clearly had a tiff. In a statement, though, he calls these new claims unsubstantiated, going on to say, I've never hacked a phone, told anyone to hack a phone, nor to my knowledge published any story obtained from the hacking of a phone. There are those who believe that it opens the gates for further investigations. The initial police investigation into the news of the world was looking at things that happened in 2005, 2006 through one investigator. It would be unrealistic to think that there was one investigator. It would be unrealistic to think it was just a two-year period. And it would be unrealistic to think that it was just one newspaper. Members of the Culture Select Committee have called on Piers Morgan to come back to the UK to help with the inquiries. They also want to know why Heather Mills didn't come forward sooner if she knew her phone was being hacked. Rhiannon Mills, Sky News.